enemies are far. There's very little enemies here. There must be a, what, something to do. I must be missing something. There must be. This couldn't be all there is to this game. The game looks... Uh, I mean, the game looks like it has a, It should have a lot going for it. I should be able to climb up there somehow. How? I don't know. Look at that. That's ridiculous. And I can't seem to get to the options anymore. Oh, wait, wait. Aha! Okay. Can I push this? Tell me I can push it. Can I? Aha! There we go. You see? Now, if I had read the manual... I probably would have found out that I could push stuff. <laughs> but there you go. One of the perils, the many perils, are not reading the manual before you play a game. Now how do I get up there? Ah! What the? Did I just... Did I just jump through the floor? Wait a minute. Okay, maybe it's too close. There we go. Oh my goodness, I jumped through the floor. How in the world? How do you get up there? Oh my goodness, this is... This is pissing me off. How do I get up there? Oh, this is... Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe... Can, can, I, can I pull this? Can I push, push? Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, that is long. That is incredibly long, winded. Have to use the I probably have to use the blocks over there as well. Okay. Well, you can see how this is okay, this is like a puzzle game. You have to think. Look at your surroundings, have a think. There we go. Easy peasy. Wait. There we go. That took me a very long time to figure out. Now, if this was a Mario game, I probably would have... What the? If this was a Mario game, I probably would have figured it out so quickly. Because I know that's what you do in certain Mario games. Or if this was like a, a Zelda game. I'm sure I can fall down those holes, so I'm going to try not to fall down those holes. What kind of weird psychedelic place is this? <laughs> Do I have to get that? Yep, yeah, okay. <coughs> you know... Oh yeah, just jump in the... Jump in the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so nice. Get out. Oh, can I fight? Ah, oh, I dropped off. Now see, I hope they don't do that all the time, because if they do, that would be a bit annoying, because you don't want to- oh, oh! I didn't see that there was no floor there. That's annoying. Okay, I can understand after the first time you want to show that, but you don't have to show it every single time. You could just lose a life and then start back where you- Okay, I got it. I tell you what, that- gliding move is not very good. It stops you in... It's like it stops... What the hell is that? Okay, I guess that's the boss. Nah, probably not the boss. But... I gotta go fight him. You know what, I'll tell you what, Gee, there's a lot, of, a lot to go to, so I guess that might be the boss then. Uh, this camera control is annoying, incredibly annoying. Um, I'll just get hit. 
that gliding move is annoying. They could have made it better. Now, he's supposed to be a devil. He's not super strong. He can't actually fly. He can only glide. I know this is the first... Oh my goodness, I didn't know I could pick up boxes. Oh, come on. I can pick up boxes. Again, perils of not reading the manual. What the hell? It's one of the many perils of not reading the manual first. Can I hit him? Am I getting hit? Yeah, I'm getting hit. Oh, I don't think I can actually... Big Lummox. Oh, that's it. All right. That was easy. What do I do with this? It seems like anytime you want to actually do something, you have to use your spin and jump thing. Oh, oh you little dog. Oh, I dropped. Um, I think the developers tried to make a good action platforming adventure puzzle game. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, it looks like they at least thought up some things trying to they tried to be a bit unique. I don't think it worked for them very much. Uh, very well, I should say. Um, it's I think it's too much too early, considering you don't have to use the glide very much in the opening. They could have done a lot better with this camera changing functions. It's just so annoying. I, I, I can't get used to it. I don't know if maybe in 1997 people didn't really use the R, the R3 button very often or something. I don't, I don't. No, don't remember. You know, it's just very—it's awkward to say the least. How do I pick these up? Oh, I can't pick this one up. His punch isn't used a lot, which you would think in an in this type of game the punch would probably be like your primary off offense, but it's not. Your primary offense is your spinning tail thingy, which makes you look funny. Oh, dropped. Which makes you look funny. And then you have this thing where every... Oh, they started me over there this time. Well, that's, that's better. Every time you drop off this thing, they have to show that animation, which slows... It kind of slows down the whole flow of you playing, I think, at least. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, can I jump in punch? No, that's not what that is. Okay. Oh, this is ridiculous. How am I supposed to kill him? Um, the game is mediocre at best. Oh my goodness, I just dropped off. How many lives I have left? I have what? Three lives left. Okay. Um, I don't find the game enjoyable. I'm trying to think. It, this, this game, <laughs> on the back of the case, it says that the game is for ages three and up. Three and up? Let me just check again. Yeah, three and up. I can't see a three year old playing this. Or a ten-year-old playing this, I think a ten-year-old would give up on this game pretty quickly. Um, uh, I mean, I'm pretty much gonna give up on this game in a minute. <laughs> it's just so annoying. I can't get past this one part. The the only thing that this game has, the only two things I would say that this game has going for it, is the music which seems to fit the atmosphere which is pretty good um, it sounds like a comic book like a, if you brought a comic book an independent comic book to life or 
to video game, as the case may be. It sounds like what you would expect. Oh, he keeps hitting me. Can't I throw stuff at him? It sounds like what you would expect a brought to life comic book, independent comic book music to sound like. Um, which is good. Which is good. Um. Oh, how am I dying? Uh, I'd say the graphics are good. Uh, specifically the animated graphics, they're pretty good. I, I do like them. My game is over. I'm not playing this again. I did not like it at all. Actually, no. I'll give it one more try. One more try. Uh, let me see if I can skip through that. Hopefully they don't do the intro again. And if they do, I'll see if I can skip through it. Doesn't look like they do, which is good. Good, good, good. So they're actually thoughtful in regards to that, which is not too bad. Now there's stuff out here. I can jump on a truck, jump on that, jump on that. And, no, oh, I'm not gonna do all of that again. So basically, it looks like out here is where you would be thinking about how to do stuff. What's that say? Kiarf was here? Who's Kiarf? That was dynamite. That wasn't very smart. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Let's do that. Can I punch this? No. Obviously, this guy is a superhero. Doesn't seem like a very <laughs> good superhero. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this game at all. Um, I picked up the game for 99p, which I really don't think it was actually worth 99p at least not to me um, it might be a collector's item or something I don't know I, I I'm not enjoying this game at all and so with that I think I'm going to end this first look review um, once again, this is Jersey Devil for the PlayStation, uh, released in 1997, published by Ocean Software Limited, developed by Mallow Film Interactive. It is an, I couldn't even say it's an action, because there's not much action. <laughs> it's an uh, adventure game which has platforming elements puzzle elements as well. Can I jump on this guy's head instead of... Yes, I can! Um, not a lot of action. I'd say it's an adventure game. Adventure game has puzzle elements in it. Um, 